right. Time for a Gragas game. I will be playing against the Zac here, which is actually a very bad matchup in this position. Because my entire team is AP. <laughs> I picked Gragas. So like, oh, I just first picked Gragas. Who cares? And then, <sighs> yeah, here we are. Probably AP Shaco, AP mid, AP support, and yeah, we need Twitch to, to, to get a lead in this situation, otherwise I am doomed. Yeah. Shaco realizes the same issue here. Should be fine. I I simply cannot go top lane here, because I have to just perm my gank bot, get Twitch a lead, otherwise we are looking real bad, because that means Zach can just start stacking magic resist, and... You know, we have issues. <laughs> we have serious, serious issues. So that is something I have to respect here. Uh, Elo of this game, we're talking like low Emerald MMR, so you guys are aware. Pretty nice leash from Shaco, just with like two boxes there. Wait for that to be smiteable. I'm just going to let the barrel sit there. Mainly focus on the big one and just drink as often as you can, essentially. Smack it down. All right. Get this out of the way and then smack the W on all the rest of them. I missed one. Sad. My goal is just to gonna be at either three cam bot gank if there's an opportunity, but I don't think there will be, or just simply full clear. And then gank bot lane. We just wanna keep it nice and consistent here. That is gonna be quite important as well. There will be some small build adjustments I have to make as well, because based on our own team comp right now. Because solo queue drafting is a bit of a meme sometimes. Take the E here. Botlane is shoving them in, which is going to make ganking them a lot more difficult, unfortunately. Most important thing for Greg is to remember is that you basically just want to cast your Q while you're Eing. Uh, it's like the most important, I guess, only mechanic you really have to know for this champion. So just keep that in mind. Did I? Not? What the hell was that? That looked really weird for me, or felt very weird for me. I have to use my body slam on it to fix the issue, I suppose. Okay, mid's getting uh, aggressed upon already. Quite a bit, which is obviously going to happen with a range disadvantage like that. Should die, exactly. We're just going to finish the clear and I'll go mid afterwards. I'll smite here for some extra clear speed. Like any seconds I can save here is going to be quite good. And then we just move. Because there's no options for a bot lane gank at the moment, so we just move mid. The ward just disappeared, which is perfect timing. We see that due to the dots there. Smack them together. Akali should have that. Perfect. So again there, I just make sure I go for that uh, W prep into the EQ. And then while dashing, we send it. Get that wave out of the way as fast as possible. Doesn't matter if I lost it because the wave is coming up here. So I need to make sure I'm quick. Um... I should walk in from the backside of bot lane on my way and see if I can make it. Right, let's do this. Walk it in the melee range. Q, get rid of the body slay or get rid of the Morgana spell shield. Is he gonna get that? Oh, he didn't, and they both died. My god. That's incredibly poorly played for my team, really. I know. Zach had to be here, of course. Do I just, like, suicide to the turret here? I flashed for it. Okay. Actually, that's not too bad. Zach rotated for that, unfortunately. My team, my bot lane played that, like, Probably as bad as they could have done, unfortunately. But, you know, uh, it is what it is. Let's get this. We move. Topside camps are respawning, so we go for those. Dude, what are they doing? She still had Ignite, too, and never used it, which is not great either. I don't know if she had a good opening for it, though, to be fair. But yeah, th there's definitely some spicy stuff going on on bot lane right now. At least I was able to flash kill the Ziggs, which is nice, but... I would, yeah, not great. Good counter from the Zac there in that position. Uh, 28 seconds on the Void Grubs, which I guess I could just play for. I might have to go... 
I want to, like, do my Raptors to hit level 5, because that's actually kind of important. But I also want to keep an eye on mid lane here in case she gets engaged on. Really keeping my eye on mid lane in this situation. I'm gonna have to like danger ping both sides. Ah, she just hit six though. That might be something. No, you missed that. Mm. And he hit six there. Of course he does. Oh, why does he hit six there, man? Akali just suicided for no reason. Dude, this is brutal. <laughs> I actually think I would have been completely fine killing the guy there as well. As she like If she either hits the flash Q, he dies. Or if she just doesn't go in at all, we win that too. This is like, not great. My bot lane is also getting clattered, so <laughs> we are in trouble. <laughs> we are in serious trouble. All right, well... We'll see how this turns out, but this, this, like, because of our team comp, this is looking really, really bad for us right now. Let's group them together slightly better. I'm gonna hope I can just do this. I'm gonna smite that one real quick. And then I hopefully, I either get it back or I just, it's just, I'm not gonna be good. Oh god. I really, I really need them to stop hinting, man. <laughs> Oh, this is this is this is some scary stuff right now. Uh, at least I can get the void grubs, which is nice. That's good. Oh, okay. Uh, Shaker's never gonna move for that, of course. Okay, well, this this game right now is looking very difficult. I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm supposed to do now. Like, I obviously try to gank bot more, I guess, but I really need that Twitch to get some kills if I want to win this game. But like, they're performing so poorly that it's actually kind of hard to properly do that. Which is interesting. Uh, that's level six. I'll do raptors and I'll go bolt after. Alright, finish this and go bolt. Cannot go mid in the in this situation. I have to go bolt here. They're not even... Don't get him. I need to give the kill to Twitch. I have to do that. I don't have a choice but to give the kill to Twitch in that situation. Now I just have to drag him instantly. Okay, every single kill in the like I get on Boltman has to go to Twitch, otherwise we lose the game. Like I can't be taking kills and uh, like as Gragas here because my entire team built full AP. Like I have no choice here. Twitch gets it perfect. I, I wanted to combo that just to be sure, but um, Twitch did get the last hit perfectly. That's very nice. Also, oh god. Give that kill to Twitch as well. Actually, can I do this? No, I have to take this kill. Body slam him. Back into the turret. Perfect. Like th those kills, I just have to take. Like I need to take the need to take that guy there, and I also need to kill the Varus. I don't have a choice. 
Would I like to give them to Twitch in this game? Absolutely want to, but I have to make sure that he doesn't get killed by them and that they die at the, like before Zack like respawns and stuff like that. Those are important things. So I cannot uh, disrespect that. This is good though. Twitch got a lot of kills in that situation and assists as well. So regardless, it's pretty nice. I'm gonna clear my bot side here and then we'll go for the Void Grubs in 30 seconds. I'll be able to afford quite a, quite a nice item soon. Mm. Yeah, that's a kill, but... I can't rotate over there because I have to reset now. Right, e. Alright, get the Lich Bane here. I'll get another Amp Tome for now. Twitch cannot be bot lane here. Like, I don't know why he's bot lane here. Uh, Chaco is dead, which means I lose Void Grubs. For sure. Is he gonna survive this somehow? I don't think so. I have to go for Varus here. I just one-shot him real quick. I don't like the fact that Twitch is just like bot lane in this situation. One-shot him real quick. I'm smiting him for like a tiny bit more damage there. Flash. Juke him hopefully. Dodge here real quick. Body slam out. I outplayed him. We're good. I cannot go back in though, sadly, but... I can, however. Quickly finish this camp off and get, to get a bit of healing, I guess. I'm sorry, Zyra, but I cannot do anything there. Ah, uh, she's going for that bot play. I'm not going to get this. Okay, I'm going to do this, but I'm, this is going to be stupidly greedy. I will admit this right now, but if I can get just one of the Void Grubs, it'll be... Okay, Zach's not going for it. I need to do this right now, especially since Zach's not going for it. Like, this is my best bet to do this. Just get him out of the way. This is going to be huge. Getting these is actually massive for me here. Gives me six Void Grubs. And that's going to give very good split pushing potential. I don't... I still don't really like the way Twitch played that. Like, he should have just grouped, rotated for that massive team fight along... Uh, like, uh, end up situation, and that would have been better. He really needs to defend against Trendemir, like... Okay, well, Twitch is getting kills. This is good. But we're losing, losing a lot on both side right now. We just got a lot. We just lost an entire turret. I don't know what Shaco is doing here, but uh, okay, it's not really mirroring the trend mirror very well. I'm gonna go commit to the Magi's. I will also get CDR boots in this game instead of uh, Sorks because Sorks in this game is not very good with that much AP on my side. I don't want flat magic penetration as a stat. Really, it doesn't really provide much value if they can just stack magic resist against their entire team. So I need to go ability haste instead. I can go raw AP with Void Staff, that'll work, but... Yeah, we need to make sure that this Trendemir doesn't get, like, massive split push potential going, and Shaco just simply never defends against it. I think Shaco can just cl wave clear against Trendemir, or should be able to. Ziggs also has Colossal Turret pushing potential, so there is that. Okay, this is gonna be gr ri very risky, but we'll do it. Good flash. Can you do any damage, my guy? Holy, you do nothing. Just didn't even ignite him either. My god, man. He doesn't do any damage and he doesn't click ignite. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is so depressing. That's actually really bad timing as well because I lose 10 Magi stacks for that. Damn. Alright, I, I kind of expected, like, you know some type of damage from my Shaco, but I should not be expecting that, I suppose. Hmm. Right. Right, 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 right. This is not great. Hmm. Akali just backed as well. Ooh. Is this gonna work? We need this dragon. We cannot lose this dragon. One shot him real quick. Just need my Twitch to not, not be AFK and we should be good. 
Kill him, please. Thank you. Give the kill to Twitch. Smack the dragon. I'm gonna drink as much as possible here. Get my health sustained. Be in as much distance as I can as well as to not get poked by like Ziggs bombs and stuff. Walked into the bombs. Okay. I mean, we got the dragon, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm almost at my smite upgrade right now. I'm gonna clear some camps. Hit, try to hit level 11, which is gonna be a big one, and my smite upgrade. I'm expecting like their damage dealers to go maw, but this guy's going full AP Varus, I suppose that's pretty good for us. He should have that. Oh, exhaust though. I can body slam instantly. That's pretty good. That didn't kill him? Dude, that man had balls of steel or he didn't have ult. <laughs> what? How did uh, I'm level 10 to be fair? That kind of sucks, actually. She should have actually been a bit smarter with that one. If she would have used her uh, skills to drop the spell shield away and she would have walked into the box, she would have gotten feared, which would have been a smarter play. Twitch is going bot again? Like, what is happening there? This is not good because you're now going bot lane when the only objective on the map is currently the Rift Herald. I mean, I guess the enemy team is dead, so it doesn't matter as much, but he really should be, like, at least mid lane, you know? Can I, like, can you help me with this Rift Herald, please? This has taken me forever. <laughs> All right, well. Uh, also, another thing, by the way, more than half the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed, so if you are enjoying the content, a subscription would be greatly appreciated. If you are already subscribed, hitting the like button always helps as well. And, yeah... That's really all I have to say. Don't go into the box, please. Need to get level 11. Good. Move to this guy here. Good. I kind of want to Rift Herald this turret. Is that stupid? It's potentially very stupid, actually. It's better to hold it, because that turret's already gone anyway. I could just use it for a second tier turret. I was kind of hoping I'd find the Varus somewhere, but they have pretty good ward coverage. Um, I need to keep an eye on this. I don't really like this play too much. Right now, they're pretty low on health. I don't want them to overextend. But I also don't want to do the dance with them and leave all my camps up at the same time. I need to do one more hit. Yeah, that's a good time. Like, he barely, like, he instantly did that. Barely got away with it. What is that, Akali? Oh, no. That works. I didn't W there. That was my bad. I should have W'd there first, but I didn't. Kill him as quickly as possible, because otherwise my Shaco would die. Don't... Oh, actually, that's a clone. Dude, I'm trolling. Into the box, you see him. Very good. Like, this is working quite well. It was a nice ult. I'm gonna Rift Herald this, obviously. I might actually just hit the turret here, because I could just Lich Bane proc the turret down. Okay, this is fine. No! Uh, if he messes this up, I'll be sad. Okay, he did it right. We're good. It's very often that laners troll that super hard, and you're just sad afterwards. This is good enough, though. We got a very nice bounce on that third. We're, we should be happy about this. We go Dragon next in 50 seconds. I'm gonna sell my Emptome, I think. That's enough money. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, the, the recall position was extremely greedy there. And uh, why, why are we FF voting? For what? <laughs> what? Okay, 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 team, I see you. No, Twitch, not now! 
Oh, that's so bad. Right before dragon spawn as well. That's real bad, actually. That's, that's like, game-throwingly bad. I see. This is the type of behavior I cannot have from my Twitch. Like, he cannot do that. Is this warded? Wait, you just used your spell shield and the other thing. You should have that, yeah, you're good. I'm not risking that. Thank you, I knew you were there, Zach. Just, I gotta be patient here. I need to ult him away from me, otherwise I'm just dead. Ah! Uh, okay, he is dead, but at what cost? Twitch is gonna come back, so if they go for me, it should be okay. I'm gonna bait them. So Twitch, they go for me here, and then Twitch can just follow up. CC the Zach real quick. I'm gonna focus him. And then Twitch can kill the Zix. No, he trolled. Okay, my bait was just like... I, I could have ran away much faster, but obviously in that situation, I just need to bait them onto me and then see if Zix can... Or see if my uh, Twitch can clean that. No, I'm dead! Oh, okay, please don't. I need mana regeneration. She flashed, okay. And I'm just leaving. Luckily in the jungle, junglers have high mana regeneration, but that did cost me my smite. I need to do this. Like, as a jungler, as long as you're in the jungle, you get tremendous mana regen, so that really helped me in that situation. Why is Akali top lane? Like, what? why is Twitch mid lane? Can we, like, actually rotate for an objective, please? Ah, she spell shielded herself. Are you serious? Run. He should be dead, right? He is dead. Okay, got my smite back as well. Combo there with the entire barrel situation. I didn't even get to smite it. We just Baron now. Okay. Use your skills when your passive comes off cooldown, which restores your health. So that way you can restore your health while running and stuff. Zyra plants should be able to tank this, hopefully. I'll tank, it's fine. This dragon needs, or this baron needs to die quick here. Okay, get the baron out of the way. Perfect. We reset. I need magic penetration and I need battling, so I'm gonna have to go full on void staff here. Like this game again, like I need to go percentage magic pen. Void staff is gonna be the move. I don't usually go void staff on Gragas, to be honest, but right here I have to. Let's get the red buff to the team. Good. They took my raptors. I'm, I want to hit level 15, so I'm going to quickly do this camp here. I think that hopefully hits me 15. It doesn't. Of course it doesn't. <laughs> uh, any level up is worth a lot of stats, so it's worth doing. I'm going to check his blue buff real quick while I'm walking forward here. The wave is something I probably should clear on top side. The blue is here. Nice. Very good. I'm going to hold my body slam, though. Clear some, clear, clear, keep clearing his camps. Uh, I think they're gonna, yeah, that bot lane rotation is gonna have to be something they're careful of. And then we just go mid. Oh, wave is a little bit slower than I was hoping for. Just hit the turret. Throw a barrel over there. So I have some protection in that side. That's not good. I was hoping to hit him, but it didn't really matter. It's only a 50 second cooldown, so using your barrel like that's not that bad. I think my ult may have been able to kill the Trendemir, potentially.
I did as much. I couldn't Q there because of the CC, but I did as much damage as I could. I don't really want to take free damage on this. I'm just going to wait for it to despawn. That takes forever. I should have body slammed over the wall. I didn't realize it was going to take absolutely years for that to, for that to happen, but... I thought the skill cooldown or the skill timer on that was a bit lower than it was, but I never really wait for them or something, so... <laughs> I guess, you know. Good TP, though. I just focus on hitting the turret down. Ah, really? The spell shield prevented you from dying, I see. I mean, I zone her and it's fine. This guy shouldn't have ult. Just hit the turret here. I don't, I don't want to disrespect this too much. We have like 130 on this dragon. It's something I definitely want. You flashed the- oh, I'm so inting. Am I in t I'm, I'm alive in time. All right, fine. I thought I could sneak the kill on the Morgana, but she reacted very quickly there. I respect it. That was on me for being very, very, very greedy. I was really greedy. I need, uh, I need Banshees next. Lost item here. That spell shield's gonna be very nice. Twitch cannot die here. We, we really need to five-man this dragon. Because I, I made sure to try and do as many dragons as possible in this game. And the soul point is extremely important. So as long as we five-man it, it should never be an issue. But that requires people not to die right now. Did you steal the red? He didn't. Okay, that's fine. As long as we five-man dragon, we're good. I need to hit level 16. That'd be great too for extra ult damage. Which wolves, blue and dragon might be enough. 10 seconds on dragon. I'm going to do blue real quick. I can smite now, and then I should have smite when the dragon is actually ready to go. Did he really just... Okay. Smite's up in 5 seconds. That'll be plenty of time. Okay, prop the barrel down. We leave the barrel there. Got it. Twitch got it. I'm dead, though. Jesus, you do so much damage. I'm actually not going to disrespect here. Is he going to go for me? He is not. Okay. I have to back there. I'm going to buy the blue potion because I think this is the last fight of the game that I'm going for right now anyway. So I should just afford the blue potion right now. Yeah, that Ziggs burst combination is disgusting. <laughs> I didn't even get the smite on the dragon. The, like the Twitch got it. But yeah, I couldn't fight after that anymore. Just gonna back at the blue potion, walk on the map with my team. They will get respawn timers still, I think, but it should be okay. Morgana shouldn't be bot lane here. She's like their mo. They're, they're, she's like ranged wave clear. Tranimir can't do it. The ults, of course. We body slam flash there to make sure we get him. And then we should be able to end the game here. Very good. Very spicy one. Had to make sure Twitch got fed, which happened, which is very good. Last item here would have been a Banshees, because they have a lot of annoying abilities like that. And Banshees would have been able to block that for me. And uh, yeah, with all that, that is it for Gragas. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to the like button below. And I'll see you guys in the end game stats. All right, so for the end game stats here, I ended up doing 29.5k damage, which is actually the most. Wow. I damaged everyone, eh? Uh, I mean, to be fair, Twitch was trolling quite a bit. He could have participated in a lot more team fights instead of randomly going to split push certain waves, which is a little bit questionable, especially when you're the only AD on your team and you want to get as many kills as possible. So that's a bit, a bit weird, but damage pretty good, I guess. Uh, true damage, 4k. We have objective damage at 55.8, getting the void grubs, the dragons, like everything I possibly could, which is good. Healing done at 24.5. Damage taken at 36.7, which is also the most. My entire team is very squishy, so this is kind of expected. 
and self mitigate another 24.6 i was full ap gragas as well so it's like i take a reasonable amount of damage but you know a uh, gold earned at 14.1 it is good that twitch has the most i wanted to give him all the kills i possibly could so yeah he's gonna have more gold than me obviously that is good. that's that's ideally what we want to see in this game a dark harvest for 1700 damage sudden impact for about a thousand damage eyeball collection for the extra ap Relentless for the movement speed, mobility, water walking as well, and then a transcendence for the 10 flat ability haste. The seconds refunded are nice, but the 10 flat ability haste is kind of what you want there, uh, most of all. And then build wise here, usually I'd go Sorks on Gragas, but in a game where you're super heavy AP, Sorks are pretty useless, so you should be going for ability haste boots instead. And build wise, um, I went Magi's. You can also go uh, for the. Mm, storm surge if you want has a very high win rate right now uh, as well um or potentially shadow flame if you'd like but storm surge has like a three percent higher win rate over shadow flame as a second item after lich bane which you know that's quite a significant amount so it probably is just much better as an option uh then to finish out the build here i would have gone banshees to go super defensive and then i can you could sell your boots for a cosmic drive if you want it gives a large amount of ability haste and it gives enough mobility for it to be fine uh, you have the relentless hunter you have the uh like just general movement speed from lich bane from magis and cosmic drive will also give percentage movement speed so you should be fast enough so you can easily sell your boots for some more ap there which is what i would have done i would have gone banshees into cosmic drive for the boots replacement and it should have been completely fine uh, although with that being said that was it for the video i'll see you guys tomorrow goodbye